Okay, so in this video, we will be talking about or solving the problem involving two sample Z test for proportions. So this kind of um, this kind of proportions or this kind of problem. So we have two proportions in which we are going to compare if they have any relationship or they have any difference. Okay, so let's go to the problem, to the example, so that we could understand the process of um, solving this kind of um, problems. Okay, so a, a vote is to be taken among the residents of a town and the surrounding country to be uh, to to determine whether a proposed chemical plant should be constructed. So the construction site is within the town limits and for this reason many voters in the country believe that the proposal will pass because of the large proportion of town voters who favor the construction. To determine if there is a significant difference in the proportions of two towns of, of town voters and the country voters favoring the proposal a poll is taken if 120 of of 200 town voters favors the proposal and 240 of 500 county residents favor it would you agree that the proportion of town voters Favoring the proposal is higher than the proportion of country voters. So use an alpha or an alpha of 0 0.05 level of significance. So the problem clearly states that we are going to de to determine if there is a uh, there is a difference. Okay, so there is a significant difference of the town voters and the country voters favoring the proposal of constructing a chemical plant okay so if if we would agree to, that the that that the town voters uh, favor much compared to the country voters of course in convention we could say that the town voters really favor the chemical plants because it is uh, much nearer to them and it could give them jobs but given this statistical data or given the data and the level of significance could could we prove that uh, assumption using those data okay so first we will have we'll have our solution okay of course we need to have first our null hypothesis okay so the null hy the null hypothesis will say that there is no significant difference or they are the same so the, the the town voters and the country voters have the same the same level of uh, of favoring the construction of the chemical plant so we could say for example our p1 is the the proportion of the town voters is equal to the proportion of the country voters okay second we have our alternative hypothesis in which you will say that the voters the proportion of the voters of the town has a higher uh, as a higher um, they, uh, vote high or uh, mostly in favor for uh, compared to the uh, voters from the countryside okay so again because we have here a a statement in which we are going to have a higher compared to the other proportion so this is a one-sided test okay so this will come in handy when we are going to have our um, decision role and critical regions so our alpha which is 0 0.05 then our um, critical region okay and our also our decision rule okay so our decision rule or our our critical region if we are going to draw here our normal distribution curve so the level of significance is five percent so that is the right because it is a higher than so this a positive so five percent so this is 95 percent or 0 0.05 percent so we need to find the z limit here okay that is the z okay so if our 
uh, z is our computed z is greater than z then we will reject our null hypothesis so this is our decision rule so first we need to find our z okay so let's just have it one in green okay so our z so we will go to our table so that is 0 0.095 so this is 0.9495 and 0.9505 so between here so we have 1.6 so this is 0 0.045 between 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 that is 0 0.045 plus 1.6 so our z is 1.645 so it is the same uh, method or in the same process of getting the the z in our previous um, discussions okay so if our z c or our computed z is greater than z then we will reject our null hypothesis okay so we now go to the computations okay so computations okay so our z c this is the formula for that this is p hat 1 minus p hat 2 over square root of p hat q hat 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 okay so first now we will be solving for our p hat 1 p hat 2 or p hat and q hat so that we could substitute that in our formula so p hat 1 so this is x1 so this is the probability of or the of or the, the proportion of the town voters so this is I believe 120 over 200 so let's just check in our given problem first let's go up so 120 over 200 that is the for the town voters so this will be equal to 0. Point, so let's have our calculator okay Let's just have first our calculator here. Where is the calculator? Okay. Okay, so I, I will just try to show the calculator on the screen. So let's just uh, compute that directly. 120, if it is 120 divided by 200, that will be 0.6. Okay. okay, so 0 0.6. So let's just fix that issue on the calculator later on. So 0 0.6, then p hat sub 2, that will be x2 over n, n2. So we have 240 over 500. This will be equal to zero point okay, calculator. We have a problem on showing our calculator on the screen, so um, it's just you can do that on your own if you have your calculator with you. So that is zero point forty eight. Okay, and our p hat is equal to x sub one plus x sub two over n sub 1 plus n sub 2 so this will be equal to 120 plus 240 over 200 plus 500 okay so let's just calculate that one 120 plus 240 over 200 plus 500 so this is equal to 0 0.51 so we have 0 0.51 and our q hat is equal to 1 minus our p hat this will be 1 minus 0 0.51 and this will be equal to 0 0.49 so we could now substitute these values to our given so our p 
hat sub 1 this is 0 0.6 so p hat sub 2 this will be 0 0.48 all over square root of um, 0 0.51 times 0 0.49 for our q hat times we have 1 over 200 plus 1 over 500 so our computed C, uh, Z, is equal to, just as we check that one, I'll just calculate, 0 0.6 minus 0 0.48 over square root of 0.51 times 0 0.49 all over all over 1200 plus 1 over 500 okay equals so we have 2.87 so we have 2.87 okay so next we will put our decision Okay, so we have here six decision. So in our rule, we say that if the computed Z score is greater than Z, we will reject our HO. So our computed Z is 2.87. And our Z is 1.645. So it is true that it's greater than. And our decision is reject. Reject the null hypothesis and accept H1 or the alternative hypothesis. We are in... Um, the proportion of P1 which is favoring the construction of the, the chemical plant is higher than the proportion of the um, country people favoring the construction of the chemical plant. So 7, we will have our conclusion. So we say that the proportion of town people or town voters, so we will use the correct term in the correct town voters in favor of the construction of the chemical plant is higher than the proportion of country voters. Okay. So, and that is the whole solution for the problem. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and as always don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that we'll have more videos with regards to mathematics and engineering problems. And thank you for watching again. And as always, have a good day.